The global financial system today is highly interconnected, digitalized, and technology driven. Within this paradigm, we are also seeing that cyber threats and attacks are increasingly sophisticated, highly persistent, and very well resourced. When we bring these two things together, we have a situation where cyber risk can have financial stability implications. Cyber risk today has the potential to transmit through this highly interconnected global financial system and have adverse negative consequences on the financial system, on the real economy, and fundamentally it can impact people and citizens of the world. For the International Monetary Fund, ensuring a high level of cyber resilience right across the global financial system is very important as it will allow financial sectors across the world to operate efficiently, safely and smoothly, which will therefore allow potential economic growth and it will provide benefits to the larger populations. It is the goal of the World Bank uh, to promote financial inclusion for the poor, but also the development of the financial sector as a critical enabler for a digital economy and to achieve um, the twin goals of ending poverty and, and a shared prosperity. But um, this financial inclusion and the development of the financial sector, especially in developing countries, is very much dependent on trust. And we cannot afford a cyber event, um, a cyber fraud, a cyber crisis to endanger the trust um, in the financial sector, in digital payments, and in digital financial services. And that's why we feel it's part of the role of the World Bank to contribute to a cyber resilient uh, financial sector. Central banks are the epicenter of any country and the financial sector within it. A central bank provides confidence to the real economy and to the financial markets, and therefore they play a critical role in terms of how the financial sector operates and also in terms of how they're able to manage the actual functioning of that financial sector. As a result, a central bank has a range of different roles in how to approach cyber resilience. First and foremost, a central bank can be a supervisor or an overseer of financial institutions and financial market infrastructures. A central bank also is an operator of the real-time growth settlement system. Equally, a central bank has a view on financial stability and it produces policies and macroprudential policies to allow the system to operate and to try and manage and mitigate potential systemic risk. Equally, a central bank has a role in terms of development and financial inclusion. So it has a broad array of roles and activities which contribute to ensuring the safety and soundness of that financial system. Therefore, a central bank will have a huge amount of work in different categories and areas, but above all, it also has a very important role as a public institution to protect itself too, because in protecting itself, it discharges a level of confidence within the financial sector as a whole. For this session, the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank have joined force uh, in order to uh, organize a program that could be uh, fascinating for our audience. So first, we will start by acknowledging the impact that the COVID crisis had on the cyber landscape. But beyond the why, why should we care about um, cybersecurity in the financial sector? We want to go deep into the how. How do we make sure uh, to increase the level of cyber resilience in the financial sector. Uh, 
And in order to do that, we will have presentation from a number of central banks on their own experience, how did they build and organize um, the cyber security function within their own central bank um, as an institution, but also as an operator of critical financial market infrastructures, as a regulator and as a supervisor. They will also present a number of tools that have been developed to increase the cyber resilience and manage cyber risk, and that can be used by um, our audience in their own context. So we hope that um, through this, we will contribute to knowledge sharing and information sharing, which is also a key aspect of, of cyber resilience.